So the teams from Minecraft Mayhem 28 were just announced the other day, and in my opinion, these teams are absolutely fire, and probably some of the best Mayhem teams yet, especially the pink team, so make sure to stick around till the end to see that crazy team and my predictions for this event. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into the teams for Minecraft Mayhem 28. Alright, so first up we have the Red Radishes with Sandwich Lord, Redunes, Four Civet, and Anthos, with their average being around 7,672. Now, quick disclaimer, these averages aren't totally right because the stat sheet that I use might be outdated, and also the, you know, players and newcomers might also change that a little bit too. Long story short, just take the averages with a grain of salt because they might not be totally right. Anyways, back to Red Team. I think this team is really cool. I love to see the Sandwich and 4C duo back at it again because they were in Block Wars, what was it, 9 or 10? I think it was nine when they teamed together last time, and then of course the red and sandwich duo was a classic duo in every single Minecraft event they played in. I mean, they played in what Mania together, Block Wars. I think they played in Mayhem before together. Uh, they had neither of them have played in MCC yet, so hopefully one day they'll be an MCC duo. But yeah. For the most part, they just are a classic duo in every Minecraft event, so love to see that they're back together, and then love to see that Anthos, of course, is back in the event as well, because this team is a banger, not gonna lie. Sandwich was talking about it on stream recently, he thinks that this team is really cool, and they probably will do pretty decent, to be honest. I don't know how 4C will do, considering he's a newcomer to this event, so love to see that 4C is in the events now, but I don't know how well he's gonna do. I think Red and Sandwich are gonna do pretty decent to what they usually do, so Red's gonna get, you know, top 20. He's gonna be a really good team player. Sandwich, of course, is going to be like the S tier of this team and do really well. And then Anthos is going to be, you know, the weakest player on this team probably, but still will be a great team player nonetheless because this team is all around really solid and probably one of the best all around teams in this entire event. So for this team, I'm going to give them probably like anywhere. I think they could get anywhere from fifth to like third. I don't know if they'll be able to get top two, but like fifth to third, I feel like is a good range. I'll settle on like fourth place for this team. I think fourth place for this team is pretty solid and I think it's it's really realistic. But anyways, let me know what you think about this team down below in the comments because it's a very interesting team. Next up, we have the Mustard Mangoes with Jack Cass, Personified, Big Mac Plays, and Locky Ness, with their average being around 7,123. Yo, we got the Jack and Personified duel back at it again. Let's go. We got Big Mac Plays back in the event and Locky, of course, returning. This team looks like a really fun team. I'm not going to lie. Like, if we're being realistic, this is just a bunch of friends kind of coming together and just playing in a Minecraft event. So, so yeah, this team's going to be fire. I don't think they're going to be that competitive. I think they're one of the, you know, weaker teams in the event, but I think, I think they're still going to have a really fun time. And of course, Jack and Personified, who make the teams, probably thought that it'd be cool if they just put themselves on a team together and just had fun and played, you know, with their friends. So, I mean, that's totally understandable. And yeah, this team is just an all-around great team. I don't think they're going to, you know, like, get like top two or top three or anything, but I think they're going to still be a really fun team. So I'll probably put them in like sixth, seventh place. I might be underestimating this team, though. I don't know how well they're going to do. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see on event day, but for right now, I'm going to say this team gets, yeah, it's around 6th or 7th. Still going to be a really fun team, and it's just, yeah, it's just like a bunch of friends chilling out, playing Minecraft, baby, you know, just like the good old days. <laughs> Next up, we have the Golden Grapefruit with Standin, Rory Animates, O Strange, and Pixel Craftian, with their average being around 8,026. Now, this is why I'm telling you guys to take the averages with a grain of salt because I don't think this team is that like strong or OP because none of the other teams have an 8,000 average, and this is the only one that does. So I'm saying that like this team probably won't be that good, but I think they're still gonna be a really solid team nonetheless. I mean, Standin is one of the best players in Mayhem, hands down. Strange and Pixel actually pop off a lot too. And then Rory has the newcomer on this team. Love to see that Rory's in the event, by the way. I mean, yeah, like Rory could pop off as well. Like this team has a lot of pop off potential, but I think for right now, but I think prediction wise, I'm probably going to say, I don't know, probably like fifth or fourth, kind of like similar to red. I feel like maybe they pop off and get like top two. I don't know. They could do really good or they could place on the lower half because of a bad game order or just because, you know, the, some of them are rusty or Rory is new and everything like that. So I don't know. This team could go either way, to be honest. But for right now, I think I'm going to say they actually pop off and I'm going to say they get like third with potential to get second. But for right now, I'm going to say third. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe Rory can get that first time win. You never know. But uh, hey, I'm going to be cheering for gold on uh, event day. I don't know if I'm going to be watching them on event day, but I'm definitely going to be cheering for them because I think this would be a really cool team to win. Next up, we have the Lime Lemons with President Poundcake, Ajax, 
Antfrost, and Andres, with their average being around 6,352. Now, this team's average looks really low, and I only think that's because this team is a more well-rounded team, and they aren't the best at mayhem, per se. Like, Antfrost is really good at MCC, you know, Andres is really good at Hoplite and other Minecraft events that aren't mayhem, and then Poundy, of course, is really good at speedrunning, and Ajax is good at a variety of Minecraft events. So, like, they aren't a mayhem-specific team. Like, they don't have one player that's really good at mayhem, per se. So, I think they're more of a well-rounded team, but that's still really cool to be honest like, i mean andres and antfrost as a duo is a really good because they play hoplite together poundy of course being the speedrunner of the team you know brings in that element and then my man ajax of course being the hype man and the team player you know this team just all around fits together almost perfectly i say almost because you know they're not again they're not all like really good at mayhem but this team will probably get to like bottom three but i think they're still gonna have a really fun time and i don't know they might have they might have like potential to get higher i mean i feel I feel like this team would do decent in pvp so maybe if they get like a pvp game later they could like pop off because ants and andres of course again they play hoplite all the time so like they could you know pop off in a say like a combat cube type of game if you know it gets played late but usually combat cube actually gets played like you know earlier in the event so they'll probably get unlucky with that in the pvp games in general so yeah i don't know how well this team's gonna do but sadly for right now i think i'm gonna have to go eighth place and put this team in the last just because the other teams in this event look a little bit more strong than this team but i could be totally wrong and this team could totally pop off you know at the end of the day hey I'm, I'm wrong with a lot of my predictions so this could be one of them go lime lemons but uh for right now i'm sorry i'm gonna have to be you guys in eighth place next up we have the cyan cucumbers with pickles nominal gravy nukery and aragon telly with their average being around 7489 Ooh, this is a very interesting team. Anyone else notice, though, that Piggles and Nominal have both been getting, like, crazy duos lately? Like, I know they both have had Sandwich in the past two events. I think it was Nominal and Sandwich two events ago, and then this past event in 27, it was Piggles and Sandwich. So, like, Sandwich has been teaming with both of these guys, and now they're both together as a duo themselves. So, like, yeah. Not gonna lie, this duo might be crazy though. Like, Nominal actually has a lot of pop off potential in this event. And then Piggles, of course, you know, is Piggles and just goes crazy in every event he plays in. And then Nukery and Aragon are just two really good role players for this team to have. So, all around, I mean, this team has all the potential to do really well. So, I might say this team gets like top two. I don't know. Do, do I trust this team with getting top two? Probably. But, like, there are other teams that could make a run for it. I don't know. I might have to put this team in second, though. Because if, if I gave Golden, like, third, I'll put this team in second, to be honest, you know? Like, this team I actually think could dominate in a lot of games. Mostly movement games. But, like, maybe they could even go off in, like, a PvP game, you know? Maybe a Sky Skirmish? You know, you never know. But, uh, for right now, yeah, I'm gonna say this team gets second place and squeezes past Gold for the finale. Next up, we have the Aqua Apples with Ubby, Ruan, Ghosty Fruit, and Fire Breath Man, with their average being around 7,804. The Ghosty and Shane duo is back at it again. Ubby's back in the event, and of course, Ruan is back in the event as well. This team is just a comeback of a team altogether. Dude, let's go, man. This is actually a really cool team. This team, if you haven't like been paying attention already, might have to just be my first place team. If I put Cyan in second and Golden in third so far, this team, I think, has to be my first place team. And I'm actually pretty confident with it, considering the Shane and Ubby duo is actually pretty good pretty good man not gonna lie it is pretty darn good considering shane can get top 10 pretty consistently in this event and ubby of course is like a top five arguably top three player whenever he plays so like yeah this team is just gonna work out i think and rwan and ghosty are two of the best role players in the entire event so yeah this team is gonna go crazy and uh yeah i'm totally confident in putting this team in first place let me know where you put this team down below in the comments though because i might be having a hot take here i don't know but nonetheless Let's go, Aqua. You guys got this. <laughs> Next up, we have the Blue Berries with Dong Fortnite, Masky, MX Aereo, and Chaos Corpse, with their average being around 7,654. Ooh, I think I might have to put red down a peg, and I think I might have to put red in fifth and put blue in fourth, because blue, dude, blue could do better than golden or, like, even maybe better than Cyan, I don't know, but I think for right now, I'm gonna say blue gets fourth, and I'm gonna move red down somewhere else, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out, guys, I, th th these predictions usually are a mess, so that's why I have the predictions at the end of the video, and these are kind of just my, like, rough predictions, and then I'll have, you know, my current final predictions, whatever you want to call them at the end, so yeah, right now, I'm gonna say this team probably will squeak into fourth, I think this team, though, is very well-rounded in most games, like, Dong Fortnite can do really good in PvP, MX Serio can do really well in movements, Maskey and Chaos can do really well in most 
most team games and just most like pvp games so yeah this team is just very well rounded in most games and i think that's why their average is so high because all the players do really well in most of the games and uh the mx area on dong fortnite duo is pretty crazy so uh yeah they this team just might absolutely go off or they just might do you know like pretty mid i don't know though we'll, we'll have to wait and see but for right now i'm gonna say they do pretty decent considering i'm gonna put them in fourth place but uh yeah i don't know i could i could be wrong about this one too but uh i'm gonna I'm stick with it you know i'm gonna stick with, i think this team can get top half i i, I have faith in this team so uh, hopefully they pull it off. And finally, the moment you've all been waiting for, the last team of the event are the Pink Peaches with Shadoon, Boosfer, Wolfie, and Kara Corvus, with their average being around 6,862. Yo, let's go, Shadoon and Kara, newcomers to the event, let's go. Love to see that Kara, though, has been playing in more of Minecraft events. She's been playing in uh, Block Wars more consistently now, and now she's eventually joined Mayhem, so I like, love to see that. And then Shadoon, of course, has now branched down to Mayhem as well after playing in MCC and Block Wars. So, you know, these two are also kind of like a package deal because they've teamed before, and they both know Wolfie and Booster pretty well, considering these two are big members of, like, Block Wars uh, and other events, so yeah, this team just all around works, and yeah, this is probably the content team of the event, I mean, most of the time, the Pink Peaches team is, like, the content team, or, like, the somewhat competitive team, uh, in Mayhem, and this time around, it kind of shows, I mean, their average is kind of low, that's just because I don't know how well Shadoon and Kara are gonna do, but I kind of, like, rough estimated it, so that's why this average is probably the weakest, or, like, you know, the least trustworthy out of them all, because, you know, the Shadoon and Kara could either do really well or really bad, you never know, and then Booster and Wolfie are also two wild cards sometimes, so, so I don't know how well this team is gonna do, like, placement-wise, but, hey, this team is gonna be one heck of a team, if we're just, like, talking, like, teams, because, like, Booster and Wolfie, always love that duo, Shadoon and Booster, great duo as well, Wolfie and Kara have team before, great duo, so this team, Hey, this team is a chemistry team. But yeah, pink team, nonetheless, probably going to get like 7th or 8th. Maybe, maybe actually, yeah, they probably will get 8th. I don't know, maybe Lime gets 8th, maybe this team gets 7th, I don't know, could go either way, but, uh, can't wait to see this team in action, if I'm being honest, I think the rest of you would agree as well. <laughs> Alright guys, so really quick, before the video ends, I just wanted to give you guys my current Minecraft Mayhem 28 team predictions, which have a good chance of being totally wrong, but I'm still gonna try anyways. In 8th place, I have the Pink Peaches. In 7th place, I have the Lime Lemons. In 6th place, I have the Mustard Mangoes. In 5th place, I have the Red Radishes. In 4th place, I have the Golden Grapefruit. In 3rd place, I have the Blue Berries. In 2nd place, I have the Cyan Cucumbers. Meaning, of course, in 1st place, I have none other than the Aqua Apples. Anyways, guys, there are my Minecraft Mayhem 28 team predictions. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below if you haven't already, because it helps the channel out a ton, and I'd really appreciate it. And make sure to comment down below your own predictions, because I'm always interested to see what you guys think when it comes to, like, these Minecraft event team predictions. Also, click right here to watch my most recent MCC video on MCC Season 4, where I discuss all the MCC Season 4 leaks, a new game, newcomers, and more. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!